Okay. Okay, so this is a new, it's the same version, except I've got an over plate. See that pin there? Goes right down the middle, and a lot of the shelves. The two turners bearings all the way down through. And instead of the curved magnet thing, I've just got four or three and three alternating rolls. There we go from the standing slot there. Again the two to one ratio by one rotation clockwise is matched by two rotations of the rotor counterclockwise. to the point where it was to do it by itself as you can see in other words there's assistance from the rotor it's assisting what looks like my hand is doing but it's really the rotor and the driver working in unison it's kind of a push me pull you So I'm staying ahead of the, the attractive curve and pushing the positive curve, gearing from that center over. Spin down time is good too. So if you can imagine that 39 inch diameter, and this requiring very little a few volts to keep it basically keeping up with that. We have very close to over unit very well, it's already over unity, less energy out, even in centrifuge force. And so on and so forth. Now, it spins down, but it automatically tells you, telegraphs the speed it's going, and you simply re interface, so to speak. And there's immediate acceleration as long as you stay ahead of the attractive curve, because this, one, it'll, this will want to suck up and attract itself to the. So you kind of just stay ahead of it. get it up to about 440, 450, 460, but then it becomes, I'm unable to keep up the speed of my hand. This is all prior to electrification. The black smell, there's the black smell right there. 